You guys should be deported. You guys should go back to Europe. Go get your citizenship. Sitting bull? No. Sitting bull didn't get your citizenship. When, when, it, when the city police come here, we're going to ask them to remove these yeah, things. Yeah, right. Until then, I'll stay out here and say what i got to say. Wait, no. surrounded Lake Lahontan at the time. The following is excerpted from this story. Tribe after tribe swept across the land, fighting to possess it for a while and passing like the storm of sand. Land of the plume uh, serpent. You guys the first terrorists. You guys the first terrorists the first immigrants. You guys the first terrorists the first immigrants. And what else? You guys have killed all the Indians. Everywhere I go, I don't see Indians eating on the restaurant. I see white people. Everywhere I go, I see white people. You see no oh, Indians. You guys like are killers. Comment. You guys are terrorists. That sounds like a racist comment. I am. Okay. You know, you. you don't like Hitler. You guys like Hitler. You guys kill no, everybody. Like you guys think you belong in Iraq? Don't you guys like think Hitler, don't like Mexico? Stalin. Second entrance, the 13th chapter and the 39th verse. Letting, telling us how the 10 tribes or the Indian tribes were in the Americas before the slaves of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi got to the Americas. See? Some 700, 700 years later, 720 something years later, from the time of Christ, earlier before the time of Christ, there was a split. Land of the Plume Serpent. North America. At this time, they, these places were called North America or named after the Roman Empire because these lands were not discovered by the Romans at that at, in, the, in its earlier days. See, but nonetheless, any land that was discovered by the Roman Empire was the children of Israel. All of them. How do we know this? If it must be discovered, then it fulfills the prophecy of Israel going into a land where never mankind dwelt. So any land that you can see European conquest or discovery by default is the lost tribes of Israel. Which institutionalized the so-called tribal governments, which are not one of our institutions. And it is still foreign to us this very day. We have yet to recover. Then one day to return another prophecy that threatened Motekuzoma. Land of the Plume Serpent. Earlier, the banished priest from the cult of the Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl, had left Mexico from the same coast, promising one day to return. Another prophecy that threatened Motekuzoma. If he the Bible said all along for the 12 tribes of Israel, he went into the Americas archaeology and history and realized that the people, the, the indigenous people of North, Central, and South America are all from the 12 tribes of Israel. They have this research, but they, they wouldn't tell their children. They wouldn't teach the Mexicans who they are or the Puerto Ricans who they are. They came to conquer, not to give understanding. Motecozoma could feel the threat to his empire. And his fears were justified. Spanish conquistador Fernando Cortez had landed in Mexico. Tupac Amaru led the final insurrection against the Spaniards in Peru from the last stronghold of the Incas in Vilcabamba, but was summarily defeated and beheaded. His name holds the key to understanding the true connotation of the word America. Tupac was an Incan royalty title which meant one who glows or one who shines. Amaru means serpent, Quetzalcoatl. Additionally, Amaru in the Incan language also has connotations of being a serpent
know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world, and that's our job. Remnants of the lost tribes of Israel. So, through the spirit of the Most High, hopefully we can give some understanding today so that you'll know that what governments are planning and what they're doing in the earth. Remnants of the lost tribes of Israel. They knew God and they rejected him. He put a curse upon them and darkened their faces and turned all men against them. Read your Bible. The president is trying to grab more power this morning and upend the legal system at the border. No due process, no courts. He wants to throw out undocumented immigrants who cross the border with no judges or legal proceedings. Now we're be saying we did form the country by completely running over the Native Americans. Yeah, this country was founded on illegal immigration. Yeah, and and quite literally, the people that came over on the Mayflower were undocumented immigrants. Right. They didn't have any papers. Latino. What happens to my You presented people? me with a very limited view of the United States. You're saying the United States is a place anybody can come and turn it into anything you want, and the people who built this country and established its institutions, if they glimmer away, so what? You are promoting a process that will reduce my people to a minority. You want more power for Latinos. That comes at the expense of my people's power. We're the only legal one here. We have Native Americans here. Yeah. We should have put that sign up when you son of a bitch is king. Spanish weapons and armor were formidable, and it would be only a matter of time before tributary states, chafing under the yoke of Aztec oppression, would join the conquistador. They would lead him to the wealth that lay at the center of the empire, to the one thing Spanish conquistadors craved above all else. We Spanish suffer from a disease of the heart, which only gold can cure. Cortez ordered his 450-man army inland. When some of his men resisted, he sank his ships. There would be no turning back. Lamb of the plume serpent. Behind the word America, these children of the sun adore the plume serpent, who is the messenger of the sun. He was the god Quetzalcoatl in Mexico, Cucumatz in Quiche, and in Peru he was called Amaru. From the latter name comes our word America. Amaru Ka is literally translated Land of the Plume Serpent. Mountains which surrounded Lake Lahontan at the time. The following is excerpted from this story. The Aztecs have created one of the most sophisticated civilizations on the planet. A great city with laws against drunkenness, theft and adultery. Compulsory education three and a half centuries before the United States. A city of philosophers, poets, mathematicians. Remnants of the lost tribes of Israel. The strangers had landed on the Gulf Coast. That was also disturbing information. Centuries earlier, the banished priest from the cult of the Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl, had left Mexico from the same coast, promising one day to return. Another prophecy that threatened Motecuzoma. If he comes in the year one read, he strikes at kings. It was now the Aztec year one read. Whether Motecuzoma believed the prophecy or not was of little importance. 
He knew that many subjugated people throughout the empire embraced the story of the feathered serpent and awaited his return. Land of the Plume Serpent. Matekuzoma sent scouts to the coast to find out more about the new arrivals. They were very white. Their eyes were like chalk. Their hair on some it was yellow and on some it was black. They wore long beards. They were yellow too. Locked and afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of spoilers. So, so in return for us doing such an evil on the Most High's land, he said that he would give us over to what? Spoilers. The nations would now have the power to come in and to loot us and to take us and to enslave us. See, that's the answer to slavery. That's why we were enslaved. We're spoiled by the conquistadors and the Spaniards and Rome was based on our sins against our father, Ahia, who gave us our land, Israel. We sinned against him, so now he's gonna now turn the Gentiles, whose gods we're following, against us. See? Verse 21, for he rent Israel from the house of David. Rent means to tear, go on. And Jeroboam drave Israel from following the Most High Ahiah and made them sin a great sin. Come on. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did. His sight. Read that last part again. Until Here. the Lord had removed Israel out of his sight, as he said by all his servants, the prophets, so is Israel carried away out of their own land. That's what being moved out of his sight means. Now he's sending the Gentiles to operate against Israel.